Since the beginning of 2023, over 557 confirmed cases of diphtheria have been detected in Nigeria, affecting 21 of the 33 states and the Federal Capital Territory. UNICEF Nigeria says it is amplifying its effort to counter a growing outbreak of diphtheria that has affected children in 27 states. Dr. Walter Molumbo of the World Health Organization, WHO, who was represented by Dr. Blaise Bottendoli, said that. Diphtheria is a preventable disease. Uh, vaccine is effective and have been used have been used globally and we know that we can prevent the diphtheria outbreak speaking further at the briefing the director general of the national center for disease control ncdc dr ifedayo aditifa stated that for case management as uh, as we mentioned for the first time in the history of any outbreak Diphtheria antitoxin is available in country uh, through both government resources and with support from development partners like WHO. In addition, uh, parenteral preparations of um, the intravenous antibiotic required for treatment has also been made available through government resources and using WHO to assist with procurement. The executive director and chief executive officer of the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency, Dr. Faisal Shoaib, who in the past week had led the diphtheria outbreak emergency tax team on an extensive tour of five states in Nigeria's Borno, Yobe, Jigawa, Kanu, and Kaduna states that are currently grappling with the diphtheria outbreak and account for more than 90% of the suspected cases, shares some insight. Our mission was threefold. First, to conduct a comprehensive assessment of the ongoing response efforts. Secondly, to actively engage with the dedicated healthcare professionals who are in the front lines of this health crisis. And in so doing, we aimed to meticulously identify the present challenges faced by our healthcare system in addressing this outbreak. These insights have been instrumental in catalyzing swift and effective solutions. The stakeholders urge the public to avoid sharing unverified information from unknown sources, challenging them to only share verified information from the official government channels. For Zia Lukman, Global Television.